Now we're at this amazing kitchen that we have just finished styling and honestly, I mean, it's hard to even look at the kitchen because look at what's behind me. It's incredible. This is where I want to be, nah, nah, nah. Never ever gonna leave, nah, nah, nah. We didn't really do anything to this kitchen apart from style it. I mean, you've got unbelievable bifold windows, both sides that you throw open. The kitchen is sensational. It's rustic, it feels homely, it feels beautiful. We've got butler's sink, timber bench tops that have been painted which are gorgeous and all we really had to do was style some shelves and style some bench tops. So to bring a little bit of warmth to this kitchen, the first thing we chose was art. That was pretty much the starting point for the whole styling of this kitchen. You can see we've got green and all we've done here is bring down that green through the styling into the shelves. So we've got green glasses that are kind of going with the green. We've got little like touches of green through here. We've then got the brown of the pears that is also coming to play with that artwork. And then it was kind of about adding warmth to this um, kitchen and nothing does that better than timber. So as you can see, there's timber kind of accents throughout this whole entire space to warm it up. A lamp in the kitchen, nothing better. It just adds a little bit of class, a little bit of style to this kitchen. Big chopping boards over here as well, adding a little bit of warmth. Again, we've got kind of these beautiful rustic pieces handmade pieces that are also throwing the green and brown again of the artwork so it's kind of all relating back again to the artwork. So the coffee machine, it's a DeLonghi coffee machine, it's white, it's beautiful, it looks retro which looks perfect with this kitchen. All right let me show you open shelves in a butler's pantry. do them really really neatly and beautifully look fair call there would be food and packets and whatnot but if you're one of those people who is excessively organized I am not that person and you can have like you can see here like all the jars with all of your food in there amazing if you're one of those people that's fantastic but the styling of this open shelving is all about pretty much placement of colors so you can see again We've got the grey in the garlic artwork in the kitchen and it's being dragged through and the creaminess of the garlic. So you've got grey and cream pretty much are the two colours. In there it was like green and brown, in here it's grey and cream. So creaminess in regards to the kettle and the toaster, the chopping board again, you've got the creaminess coming through in the wood, the creaminess coming through in the wood, all the wood tops, but then you're dragging through that grey. And just even adding little bits and bobs like this, I know it's a shopping bag or a bag, but it fits colour wise with this space, which is fantastic. It's a shopping bag for shopping, so it relates to the space. And adding it as like a little piece of artwork is perfect. It's just sitting on a 3M hook so you can easily remove it if you change your mind. Ain't never going home.